Why not be myself or what? Yeah. <laughs> just gonna sit there. I'm not Take saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm just here. We are on. Australia's cool. I was here like the first time about three years ago. I love the country. It's really good fun, everything about it's pretty chill, good people, good vibes and conditions are good, you know. Like the other day we had a pretty sick session and it just showed me how good it really is. I think I'll be coming back at some point. Playing the trumpet, you said. Yeah, I don't like to blow your trumpet, but what's it like to be four times world champion? I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great to be world champion. Like, again, you know, all that hard work all paid off. When I was a kid in South Africa, back in the day, I've seen the evolution of fighting. And You're yeah. almost one of the old school boys, really. I am, pretty much. No, it was good back then, you know. I used to be so up for it. I used to just be like, always got a kite in the air, no matter what wind, yeah, jumping yeah. on the beach, yeah, in the man. car park. I've flown like a kite for so many hours in total. It's a joke. Massive rain cloud, going a bit mental, so went chilled for a bit, came back and it all cleared up. Main break in the lagoons and there just wasn't really working so well. This is the only place I've ever kited in Margaret, so I was here like four years ago and had exactly the same condition. I was out on my seven, it was pretty windy, like it was good for like mega loops and pretty crazy stuff. To be one of the first people with a pro model kite is a pretty big thing. It's been quite a hard push to get it going, you know, with all the C versus bows and stuff, but yeah. I think there's a place in the market for this kite. It's such a good kite, it's everything I want, does everything I want it to do. Light turning, quick through the loops, quick through the sky. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, I reckon it's the most powerful kite out there. It looks insane. I'm so happy with the graphics and when I put it up in the sky, you know, I'm just stoked. Hopefully when other people see it and ride it, they'll be happy with it too. Out, 
pushing kiting to such a level where we're going huge. I think in the future, we're going to be up there. It's full speed and yeah. we're coming in super hot with that yeah. risk factor of landing. And that's what me and a few guys are trying to aim for at the minute, you know. The powerful style like Ruby and stuff, we're trying to push the massive kite loops and the real power and sort of wow factor without taking the sport backwards. Get that on TV, and I think that's when it will really hit mainstream and go mental. They're not watching it because of kite surfing; they're watching it because it's insane. I reckon once we do that, it'll get pretty big. What car sponsor do you want? Uh, hmm. Oh, so many. Should be Ferrari, really. You play guitar here. I'm disappointed. Shit, I had Aston Martin for you. <laughs> Please don't fucking do that next to me. This game's fucking mental, man. Do you, use, do you use this thing? A whammy bar, man. Can't get my head around that, dude. You'll have to get into it. it. No, it doesn't do it for me. Get into it, man. It, it will. Me. Well, it will. No, it won't. It's insane, man. Really? This game is addictive. <laughs> you look like you're on ecstasy when you play that. <laughs> 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 Fucking ruined this interview, Jason. Have some respect, Hadlow.